and hello everybody god bless you all out there in youtube land and in the world i came on here today um because i was inspired by a conversation i'd been having on youtube with a fellow christian um basically what had happened to me was i was listening to the song american pie and we were kind of analyzing what the lyrics meant and i got into a little bit of kerfuffle with the sky right and it wasn't anything any big and before long our conversation had turned positive which i thought was wonderful and he seemed to think so as well um and really to go online and start out in conflict and end up in friendship is a sign that christ is working through you if what you're using is his words and his ways to guide you right that's what's kind of happened for me but then a fellow Christian came on and commented on our conversation. At first, I didn't think much of it because I didn't know that she was a Christian. This is how they introduced themselves. Jan and Trish, what the heck are you all smoking? Little Coke in that doobie? Are you the same person, schizophrenic, or just mindless wandering down the rabbit hole? For goodness sake, stay away from anybody telling you to drink the Kool-Aid. Now, does that sound like somebody that's coming at you in a spirit of love and in a spirit of respect and um, who's actually trying to teach you anything proper other than just insult you and butt themselves into your life just to insult you? What are you all smoking? Okay, so we're on drugs, uh, coke and marijuana. Um, we're schizophrenic, we're mindless, and okay, we're the type of people that would drink Kool-Aid. This is how this person introduces themselves. No big deal to me because I've had lots of comments, but what I see down here, she ta tells who Jim Jones is, okay, talks about empaths, and the only empath that ever walked the earth, she says, was Jesus Christ, and then goes on to explain that empaths, even though there's no such thing as us, um, generally gauge truth by emotion. Emotions are good after all. God gave them to us, but there are reasons the heart can't be trusted. Emotions are fickle. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. And this pride you're feeling right now is leading you down the wrong path. Commenter, okay? Um, emotions are good. Um, Empaths don't always gauge truth by emotions. We're not exactly sure how we're, we're getting this maybe vibe or feeling that we're getting off you, this, this insight. It might be your body language we're picking up on. It might just be, I mean, a thousand little things that are here in the physical world that we might be picking up on and we're just good at seeing these patterns and, and so we can read them. It's got nothing to do with saying i am uh, got supernatural powers. Or that I get up every day and engage in the act of being an empath and practice being an empath or ask to be an empath or try to be an empath. It's just you're just somebody who can pick up other people's emotions. You know, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. Um, actually, I was testing those powers, as you put them, on here to show the limits to myself of, of that, to not let it get out of control in my mind of, you know, what an empath can do. So if I'm willing to put myself out there and, and be a fool and get told, you know what, you're completely wrong on all counts when you, because I, I told this guy, I guessed what he might be, right? Just to see if I, you know, this empathic thing, how far it could go. It was just a little bit of fun, that's all. And if I'm willing to test that, you know, I'm willing to put myself out there and put my pride out there and... You know, if I fail, I fail, but I've learned something from it, right? Okay, and then I say to Kimberly, like, that you come here, butt yourself into someone else's conversation with insults and disparaging remarks, which they did, and then start talking about Jesus like you have it all together. And I pointed out that, you know, whatever you do to least my brethren, this you do unto me. And... This person just comes back and says, how did I insult you? You just made a comment at me. I'm responding to a comment where you're asking me if I'm on drugs and wandering down a rabbit hole and all this stuff and talking to me like I'm a mental case, right? It's an open forum. Yeah, it is an open forum. This person is coming on here 
They're being very, very disrespectful. Talking about Bible quotes to back themselves up. Refusing to admit that they have been insulting whatsoever. How did I insult you? Come on. You just told me. Oh, for God's sake. Anyway. Um, saying that all empaths are, there's no such thing as us. There's no such thing as empaths. Jesus was the only empath. You got it all figured out, right? Um, and I'm hostile. This is what she's saying. My comment to say, you, you know, you're not treating me very well. You're not treating me like you would treat Christ. Definitely not. Makes me hostile. That makes me hostile and her not hostile. This person projects onto you, gives you characteristics that you don't have. Um, isn't your pride and ego making you so angry that you're casting stones? How did I cast stones by saying you're being rude to me? Is not Christ-like. That's not casting stones. Um, best to get the moat out of your own high before you start telling people how to behave. But you came on here and criticized our behavior. You are the one that entered our world and told us that our behavior made us look like schizophrenic hole wanderers, rabbit hole wanderers, okay? You are the one who did that. So you project it back onto us. And you're posing as a Christian. You're out there quoting scripture and saying that you you're trying to be christ-like and that, that we should be more like you basically right but you refuse to admit you've insulted anybody you're horribly condescending um take a nap little girl okay condescending if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen these are cookie cutter statements so you can just fine in the in the book of insults for dummies who don't know how to insult other people uh, take a nap little girl like it's so condescending right and this is a christian okay this is a person who's making christians look so bad and who's going out challenging other christians making us look foolish because we're online fighting and arguing with one another bringing a black vibe into the world being a total uh false person uh, telling me um, uh, sweeping statements about okay condescending uh, I bet your mama's proud of you okay this person is bringing my mama into it okay um, just because you capitalize is what they're saying uh, just because you capitalize your ranting doesn't make you righteous when I just told her I capitalized what I was saying to differentiate it from the quote of her I had put in there. So you could see her words and my words in two different scripts and you know who said what, I just told them that. But apparently they would like to project onto me the fact that I capitalized my letters in order to be righteous. So they're a liar, right? Blatant liar right to your face. This, I had an epiphany uh, during all this, I had the epiphany, you know what? This person is a mini Jim Jones. This person mixes faith and the, the Christian love with insults, disparaging comments, projection, um, shaming, um, lies, and uh, uh, just snarkiness, um, and mixes it in with Christianity. This is a mini gym. This is a person who puts poison into the Kool-Aid and goes out and feeds it to everybody on a daily basis. Now, if you go to this person's channel, what you're going to see is six subscribers, one video, and pretty much hardly nothing about this person. Okay, this is, this is a hider. You go to my channel, you're going to find out a lot about me, probably more than you'll ever want to know, because I'm open about who I am, and here I am. This is me. I'm not hiding behind a keyboard. What do we do when we run into these people is the big question of the day if you get down in the dirt and you wallow around with them you're only making christ look bad this is an opportunity to try and withhold try and withhold this desire to strike back and you know in your harshest possible way and to do damage to the other person because obviously this person is very lost they're very they read the book you know and they got the quotes and you know, they got the self-righteous attitude and they got 
<clears throat> you know, this God behind them, backing them up as far as they're concerned. And they go out and they just whip people and whip people and then tell them that they love them and that they're doing it out of love. Uh, I came on here and insulting, insulted you because I'm Christ-like and I love you. I'm going to go pray for you because you're sad and, and sick and twisted. Okay, so I'm going to go pray for you because you said I insulted you when I didn't. When you did. I'm going to go pray for you though. I'm, I'm a liar. What do you do when you run into this kind of entity? Is this just a lost Christian having a bad day? Is this someone who's just having a bad day and is going to feel bad about it tomorrow? Or is this actually someone who is actively out there trying to make Christians angry, fight with one another, look bad, make us look like we're down in the dirt rolling around, you know? When you run into someone like this, it's the time to get as... You get tough, but you have to be... Don't let them affect you. Don't let them get into your heart and make you feel resentful. And don't let them doubt your relationship with God. Don't, don't let the hate love in. The narcissistic hate love that they pass out. The Kool-Aid laced with arsenic. Don't let them put that poison into your system. Don't allow the poison in. See the difference between the Kool-Aid and the arsenic. Because people like that are going to try. Mix them together. And pour that into your soul. And it will poison you. And it will hurt your relationship with God. And you got to be very careful going online of who you're talking to. I'm not saying I am perfect in this conversation, you know. I did have that urge to just want to go, eh. But I didn't. I didn't personally attack on this level. I said, I did say something to the effect of, you know, if empaths were all over the Bible and you thought you were an empath, then they'd be the greatest thing ever. You know, empaths would be the leaders of the world if you were one, if you thought you were one. I did say that. I don't really know that about this person. I sense it. I guess it. I don't really know it. So, I don't know. And... It's a tough world out there. Sometimes talking to Christians can be harder than talking to non-Christians. Sometimes Christians are not really Christians at all. Sometimes they're just lost. Just try and keep your cool because it's not easy. And watch out. for Don't drink the Kool-Aid, okay? Don't drink the Kool-Aid. I love you all. Even you, commenter. Even you. I love you too.